I've had an incredible number of nice comments on the video of the balayage with the cap highlighting. That cap was shortened in no time, so I guess you all really liked the technique. <laughs> but I also got the response from some that they, some still found it difficult with the beanie, especially when the hair is also a bit longer. So in this video, I show you a technique with a spatula. It's also an old fashioned technique, but still perfectly usable for your stuff in the slum when you think, well, that foil techniques are just too much for me. And that cap method is a bit too tricky. Then the palette knife is for the, for you, or is that still the solution? We've also come up with a nice offer now because I expect those spatulas will go really fast again. What's in the offer? We have the spatula. And as you can see, this is a very long spatula. I am a big fan of this because you have the height to color long hair. Well, it includes seven bags of snow white bleaching powder, each 50 grams. Then there's a liter bottle included with 9%, which I also used on the doll head. And in most cases, you do use 9% to set a highlight in the hair. Then there's also a box included and look traditional end papers for perming. Why? That's because I protect the highlights at the root with it. And you all see that in the video. Then lastly, uh, to complete the package, the no yellow shampoo. I use that too to show works fine after your bleaching, after your highlights, and then you keep a nicer, cooler look. What color do you get? This whole package usually costs 50 euros, but we can offer it to you now for 35 euros, including shipping costs. Are you guys curious about my video? Then quickly check out the spatula technique. And for the rest, I'd say good luck to everyone. Here you see the final result of what I did with the spatula technique. I have made eight sections and I always find it important to work systematically. Hence, I divide all my areas. Pay attention to the width of your section, making sure it's as wide as your palette knife and not wider because that's not comfortable to work with. I want to see some highlights in the lower contour edge. So I'll also start with the first one. I'm doing a regular skip weave. My locks are not too thick and not too thin. The advantage of my spatula is that it has teeth. I'll also put those teeth in my highlights right against the headache. With my thumb, I keep the crowd tension on the highlight. I can now very easily apply my bleach, my snow white, and thanks to the board, I can also apply it a bit thicker or stronger in the hair. I left a centimeter of natural thread in between at the bottom every time to create more depth. As soon as I get to the curvature of the head, as you see here, I take each pass and then thin each pass out. So more highlights appear on top. You just saw me using a piece of paper, an old fashioned dot paper we use for the perm. I place it at the root of my highlights and I do this to avoid stains. The advantage of dot paper is that it's lightweight yet offers protection. Some barbers also use fuse wadding from time to time. That's of course fine to do. Personally, I just find it annoying when you start removing the cotton wools. Sometimes some of it clings to the color and that bothers someone rinsing out. So a point paper is just a bit faster and easier to work with. I've chosen to work from the side parting, but if your customer always wears a center parting, you can place it just fine from the middle. You can see when you use your board over and over again, that some bleach stays behind the teeth. That's no problem. When I then the flowers, which you have to spread again, then I take a clean brush or at least I don't put any product on my brush. And then I use the bleach behind the teeth to then spread it out on the rest of the hair. Next, when applying the hair, I then use new bleach on my brush. The advantage of the combs is that you can easily pull it through and your bleaching is evenly distributed. So you don't get any spots. I decide to include the highlights at the front as well. This gives your face more lightness. But if you want more depth in your face, you could also not weave the front ones and just make them natural hair. That's up to you. And that's the freedom with a spatula. I chose not to put highlights in the first five centimeters of the neck area because it leaves me with more natural and creates more depth. 
Well, from here, from the occipital bone, I'll start blending again. But my next section will also be two centimeters above, so I can darker work towards a lighter top. Because once I get to the curvature of the head, that's where I pick up each section again and blend them all out. So that I have the most highlights on the top. As you can see, I work on towel dried hair. And there are two reasons for that. The first reason is that it doesn't tangle the hair. I've conditioned it well. And that's why my spatula moves smoothly through the hair. The second advantage is that the bleaching gradually and more quickly penetrates the hair, giving me a beautiful getting lighter. While editing my video, I realized I forgot to film myself getting my Snow White ready. But what did I use? I used the Kiss Snow White with 9% and I left it on for 45 minutes. Before I show it with my No Yellow shampoo, I make sure all the bleach is gonna unwash it once with the Keramax shampoo. That way I just know all the bleaching is gone and I can show it off properly afterwards. The No Yellow Shampoo is a great toner to use after your highlights to mattify the color. As you can see, don't be too stingy because I really need some pigments from the tube to neutralize the hair. Be careful with the No Yellow. If the tips, for example, are white, then the No Yellow Shampoo might be a bit too much. What you can do is apply a bit of conditional to the ends and then apply a No Yellow on top. That way it won't overdo it. After two minutes, I already rinsed it out because I didn't want a white final result. Here is the final result of my spatula technique. And as you can see at the bottom, I have some more natural hair, lighter on top, but you can be very creative with this. If you are now interested in the offer, please go to the KIS website, www.kishaircare.nl. I would say good luck everyone.